Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to look at the graphing form of an exponential function using decimals. Please remember that the graphing form of an exponential function is y equals a b raised to the power x minus h plus k, where our x and y here are variables and a, b, h, and k are parameters. So we're going to add all of these um, sliders here. We also remember that an exponential function is a type of graph or a curve where it approaches a line, which we call as an asymptote, meaning this graph is going to approach a particular line, and that line is what we call as an asymptote. The equation for the asymptote of an exponential function is y equals k. And we're going to represent this asymptote with a broken line. Again, we remember that an asymptote is a line where the graph approaches towards it but will never touch it. It just gets closer and closer to it. So for example, in this graph right here, which is an exponential graph, it approaches this blue line, which is again our um, asymptote, but it will never touch it. Although in this picture, it looks like it's touching it, but again, it will never touch it. It gets closer and closer. It dives closer and closer to it, but will never touch it. Now let's look at the effects of A, B, H, and K to the graph. Let's start with B. So if our B is greater than one, we call this graph formed right here as exponential growth. In exponential growth, the value of the y is increasing, meaning if we start uh, determining the value for y from left to right, it's going to be an increasing value. So um, that's exponential growth. The value of y is increasing. When the b is 1, it's going to be a straight line. Well, if the b is greater than 0 but less than 1, we call this type of graph that we have right here as exponential decay. So the value of y for an exponential decay is decreasing or this graph is decreasing. That means uh, if we uh, determine the value of y from left to right, it's decreasing. So that is what we mean by exponential decay decay. It happens again when the value of b is greater than 0 but is less than 1. Now let's look at the effect of a. When a is greater than 0, we can see that the graph or the graph of an exponential function is above the asymptote. Well, if the a is negative, the graph or the ex the graph of the exponential function is below the asymptote now let's look at the h the h moves the graph left or right while the k moves the graph up or down again we remember that the equation for the asymptote is y equals k that's it. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!